Fox News alert now. Uh, action could be imminent as Israel weighs a response to Iran's missile attack on Saturday. Trey Yinks is live next to one of those Iranian missiles in southern Israel that hit ground. Trey, was that knocked out of the sky or did that land? Yeah, hey, Brian, good morning. Behind me is the fuel cell of an Iranian ballistic missile that was recovered by the Israelis following that attack by Iran this weekend. You can see the sheer size of this missile, 36 feet long. And this is about 70 percent of the entire missile that was launched from Iranian territory. The Israelis don't know what the exact target was, but they do know it was either shot down or it separated as it entered Israeli territory. We also know that there was a 500-kilogram warhead on top of this missile. That's about half a ton of explosives. And it was one of more than 110 ballistic missiles launched toward Israel over the weekend. I do want you to listen to Israel's chief of staff, Herzl Halevi, who released a new statement in English overnight discussing what the Israeli response to this attack might be. We remain at our highest level of readiness. Iran will face the consequences for its actions. We will choose our response accordingly. The region is waiting to see how Israel will respond to this ballistic missile, cruise missile and drone attack launched by Iran over the weekend. They do have a variety of options and Israel's war cabinet is set to meet for a third day in a row later tonight. They will be discussing how Israel plans to strike back against the Islamic Republic. Brian. All right, Trey, thanks so much. Everyone's on pins and needles in the entire area. Nobody knows exactly what's next. Uh, thanks, Trey. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.